Hey there sports fans, Robo here for Carval Gaming. Uh, I've just started a new arena. Pick Druid, this is my very first pick. Which is uh, kind of a, a funky little pick we've got here. I think we are definitely going to go with Anixia here. Um, my reasoning behind this is that we have a lot of 8 mana guys for Druid already. <coughs> that we're going to be picking, uh, in namely the... Uh, Big fat trees with taunt. And Millhouse Mana Storm, uh, he's fine, but you know, he's a little bit a little bit risky. So I like the idea of uh taking an Anixia as the first pick. Definitely a swipe, I mean, why wouldn't I take a swipe? So I feel that Because I've got this, I probably should just, like, f get plenty of taunts going in this deck. Looks like another swipe. Uh, Starfire's fine, but he's very expensive here, so... I think the Fairy Dragon uh, makes a good pick here. And definitely a Claw. Well, both of these cards are good. Uh, I'm more of a Farseer fan than a Scarlet Crusader, though it's still an okay pick. Wolf Rider is fine, so is Stormwind Champion. And definitely another claw. Uh, this is a tough pick between these two because obviously the gadget and auctioneer works really well with like innovate and uh, your coin and moonfire and stuff like that. But the questing adventurer is also pretty ridiculous. And given we got the questing adventure, like a third swipe might be f absolutely fine here, though the Dark Iron Dwarf is also very good. The reason being, if you play the questing adventure turn 3 and swipe, just stuff repeatedly out of the way afterwards. But I just like this Dark Iron Dwarf, it's a very flexible card. <laughs> I love Shattered Sun Cleric even more. I'm really uh, liking the look of this draft so far. Wow. So we just need uh, a few two drops just to flesh this out here. Um, innovate would be okay with the Enix here and these expensive cards here, but um, I also like Frost Elemental. Uh, second Stormwind Champion's probably too greedy here, so take the Starfire. Well, we have to pick up a few two drops, unfortunately. So this is a, a little bit of a weaker two drop. Uh, Nourish is fine as a card, but uh, probably need the Cobra here. Just looking at the mana curve, pretty much. Could take the Voodoo Doctor, but. We've got nothing going on at 5 here. Definitely the Young Priestess, we need a little bit more in the early game here. Um, more taunts, we could take the Venture Company Mercenary, but with all these cards at 6 mana and 7 mana and onwards, I think we're just looking to survive until then. Uh, wild Growth's probably the pick here given how expensive the rest of the deck is. And again, you know, you could maybe say, give an argument for the Mana Wraith. 
but Nourish could allow us to power into these big drops. Yep, let's just let's just go let's just go big, see how it see how it does. <laughs> Um, one that tries is sometimes okay. We just need more two drops, which is why I'm taking the novice engineer. Normally it's really bad, but with these two claws, we can at least still take something else out. And of course, we can always turn it into a two-three with the shattered sun cleric. I just think it's really important to have maybe a bit more going on at two mana. I mean, we could just swipe. Uh, sorry, uh, shape shift turn two, but I don't think we can afford to have uh, go for the Raid 10 Hunter there, which is clearly the better card. <laughs> Third Ironbark Protector. That would be extremely greedy, wouldn't it? I think it has to be the Dark Scale Healer. And uh, definitely Grazed Alchemist here. And finally, we finish it off with the Sunwalker, because both of these cards are completely unplayable. So this is known as uh, a really expensive draft. Me winning will be reliant upon actually drawing my early game cards in the early game. Um, and also going first a lot I think will be uh, a huge boost. However, the deck could just as well fall over. Uh, I think Mage is actually one of my better matchups due to my just large uh, amount of minions. Yeah, this'll do. Hello. My greetings. I hope you like the <laughs> invention. That's what I was going to do. I hope you like my invention. So we're definitely okay for the late game. Now it's just a case of surviving, really. So I'm trying to think about how to get this questing adventure of fat what? and uh, to survive. So maybe we just throw this out to start with. And then we can play this next turn. Maybe coin straight afterwards. And play a claw or a crazed alchemist. We could also just play the Crazed Alchemist next turn and, and kill this if he doesn't play a spell.
probably okay just to kill it with a claw. Right. Get a tiny amount of board presence. <laughs> it's time for a little blood. I smell blood. For not a time. So obviously he can enrage his own guy there to beat mine up. Three swipes in my deck, nowhere to be seen. The gates are open. So since we've got our next few turns planned out, there's no reason for me to hold on to that coin any longer. Just big guys from this point onwards. I mean, we've got an opponent who's drafted nothing but polymorphs by the look of it. It's got to run out of them eventually, right? Yeah, that doesn't really do anything. We have many secrets. I still got three swipes in my deck. 17 cards left, still not seen one. So this is starting to get pretty ridiculous now. Give me a quest. Let's see if he's a bad player and runs his Cobra into my Divine Shielded guy. Because he doesn't realise that Divine Shield protects against the damage. play. What are you doing? What are you doing? This is awful. Unless you've got double fireball. Well, there we go. He luck sacked through that one with basically the perfect draw. It's like, I have epics.
Like a hand just stuffed full of polymorphs. If we didn't have such a poor uh, opening hand, which is understandable given how expensive our deck is, uh, we'd have probably crushed him pretty easily. Uh, and we would have crushed him as well if we'd drawn any of my three swipes. And that's really the difference, you know, in the game. He gets his polymorphs, he wins. I don't get my swipes, I lose. That's part of arena that you just have to suck it up. Your soul shall be mine. I must protect the wild. Going second again, so looks like we're going to lose another one, right? Especially with that hand. <laughs> Just so expensive, this deck. It's pretty funny, really. Well, lucky for us, he doesn't have a flame imp on turn one. Or a fire imp, or any kind of imp. And beautiful turn two for us there. So he's obviously got a hellfire, but uh, <laughs> we've got nothing to play ourselves here. I think gaining the two mana crystals. Is the plan. Will a Hellfire clean me out next turn? It probably will, to be honest. If I do that... Farewell. That minion already attacked. Do I have to? Well, this works quite well for us here. So I don't want to commit, I don't want to lose too many guys to a hellfire here.
Nice of him not to attack there. Guess we just put the big guy out, right? You dare challenge the daughter of death. Of course. More training. How lucky! And Hixie gets a buff! So ridiculous! And he's just murdered his own guy. So I'm a, a little bit worried about killing his 6-6 six, six, uh, with my 8-8, eight, eight, as that sort of puts me into swipe range. Of course. There's no reason we can't do it this way. You shall pay for your I mean, the way he's played from sort of the early game certainly suggests he still has a, a hellfire in there, but doesn't look like it now. You shall pay for your Well, he has to Hellfire if he's got one, so we can only assume he doesn't have one. And he's looking for it now. Well played. You will this time. My thanks to you. Well, that was a bit different. Nice to actually get a win in. <laughs> I was worried I was going to go 0-3 with this deck. is very greedy um, and does rely on a lot of getting one of the one of the three swipes it's definitely three I've got right it's not just two did it ah maybe it, maybe I didn't take the third swipe maybe that's why I'm complaining that makes sense doesn't it Malfurion versus Thrall I must protect the wild. Wow, going second again. Awesome. I think I have to keep this going second. It's a really defensive, uh, focused hand. Greetings, friend. My greetings. <laughs> All of these games are starting off the same way. But we can now coin into a swipe.
Should we need to? Do you need a blessing? Oh, if you're sure. Obviously, he's taking out the priestess. I mean, that doesn't really need thinking about there. I'm not quite sure why he's not playing any cards. Doesn't seem to be a very good strategy. And he's going to get beaten up pretty badly because of it. Do we want a 7-2? I don't think we do want a 7-2, do we? That would be way too greedy, a 7-2. What to do? My eyes are open. So, you know, I could have played the crazed alchemist out and got rid of his totem by turning it into a 2 0. That is fine. Absolutely fine. I think we just beat up the frost elemental, right? There's no reason to do anything but that. Of course. If you're sure, truth is my He likes his totems, he's a big fan of totems. Guess we're just beating his stuff up. Justice shall prevail. That is already attacked for the wilds. Job done. So again, I got a wild growth to get Anixir out next turn, but there's no point. Just gonna beat him up with these huge guys. I 
think we just swipe him out of the way again. He's a big fan of Frost Elemental. So this is just in case he silences his own 5-5, five five so that it can attack this turn. This way it now trades with my 5-4 rather than it killing it. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. And he's dead. There's little time. <laughs> Doesn't do anything. <laughs> Welps wanted to watch me kill him. So I never felt threatened. Um, I played a lot slower than I could have done because there's no point pointing my guys out and walking into lightning storms and things like that. The way he was always playing his uh, totems out every turn suggested to me that he had a bloodlust in his hand the entire game. He was just trying to get multiple minions out on the board to maybe do something. That's certainly how it felt to me anyway. My greetings. I could be completely mistaken. One shot. One. Well, that's an excellent start for me. Swipe would be nice. Swipe would be very nice. He might have just played the 1-1 one, one out here because he's got like a blessing of might or something. Always assume that it is noble sacrifice when they do stuff like that. Ah, 
Oh, I guess it's eye for an eye then. Give me a quest. Oh, me to repentance. <laughs> So that's fine. I mean, we were, you know, I was quite happy to walk into a consecrate anyway. There. If I was him, I maybe wouldn't waste the consecrate. I'd just use the one-one to trade with the two-one, and put out some small guy that costs two mana to deal with the two-two cobra. Hmm. So we're going to use noise to draw three cards, but that's only when we run out of cards. Well played. Apparently the Stormwind Champion is now working in conjunction with the Dark Iron Dwarves. Never knew uh, Stormwind and the Dark Irons Truth got on so well. Let's see if he's got his equality consecration combo for seven mana. I wonder. The gates are open. He's, he's pretty much getting crushed here. Making them big guys. Well, he knows that doesn't do anything. He needs a, uh, well played. Farewell. Needed like a blessing of protection as well. His deck was just really too slow. Um, I mean, I've got a slow deck, and when I'm saying someone else has got a slow deck, they've really got a slow deck. 
I always feel I'm going to win slow games because all my guys are just so big. Malfurion versus Jaina! You asked for it. I must protect the wild. Sunwalkers, not that great against mages because obviously they can ping the shield off quite easily. Now we can deal 3 damage with anything next turn <laughs> with the claw. I hope you like my invention. As as it is, we don't even need to do that. Mage has to make sure he doesn't fall too far back on tempo here. Mm. That's not terrible. Now obviously you can still kill my guys with like any AoE, Cone of Cold, stuff like that, but I think this Fairy Dragon um, has enough ways of surviving that I don't want to turn it into a 1-3. Especially when I've got the Dark Scale Healer next turn, just to help it back to life. I wonder. So if he's looking at shooting one of these this turn, I'll probably suggest Arcane Explosion. You know, yep, that's definitely an Arcane Explosion right now. Okay, cool. Awesome. So this is a super sick turn for me. Of course. For Don't rush me. Job's done. I don't think he has used his coin, so. I don't really want to uh, play too many more minions out. Um, so what we're looking at doing here, I just had a hmm. answer the phone quick there, sorry about that. He's maybe just going to the face here with a swipe. 
Feels a, a little bit greedy. We could silence our own guy and beat him up for three more, but I'm fairly certain he hasn't used his coin. You know what? Hmm. Let's just pass. This is pretty easy enough to deal with, wouldn't you all say? Silence beat him up for nine. Hmm. Yeah. Your magic shall not save you. Maybe he did, he did use his coin. Maybe I just uh, didn't see it. If he coins into Alex Strauser, that'll make me a little bit sad. Uh, the fact that he's got seven cards in hand uh, amuses me greatly. Because he's just an, another person who's just got uh, just a ridiculously slow deck. Probably, like packed full of fireballs because he thinks they're good. So a pretty bizarre game there where our opponent just didn't do anything. I'm happy with that. Works for me, but uh Don't felt don't felt like uh I was under pressure at any point. I certainly could have killed him quicker, I was just playing around a flame strike. The light shall bring victory. I must protect the wild. <laughs> wow. So, um, we've got a chance. Depends on how many mind controls uh, the priest has. We're certainly not going to be uh, beating him up very quickly. Certainly not with this hand. And he's wasted his turn two, which is perfect for us. The reason I did this is we can use the Crazed Alchemist to turn this guy into a 3-1. We can also just claw it out of the way, I guess. Crusade! I, th 
think we just turn his guy into a 1-3 now. You love my new recipe. For the wild. Oh, if you're sure. More training. <laughs> Might have actually been better just as a 3 1, to be honest. <laughs> you could consider that actually buffing his minion, thinking about it. Seems a horrible waste of a swipe. That seems like such a terrible play. Why, why would you do that? Well, he has plenty of cards in his hand, he's just not doing anything with them. You call that a weapon. And now we get to clean shop with a swipe. And this is uh, definitely the time for doing it. So we just have to watch out for those mind controls from this point onwards in the game. Absolutely fine to me. For the wilds. Done. My eyes are open. Job's done. So the thing about mind control is it's amazing when you steal something with taunt. But if you mind control something that doesn't have taunt, they can still attack you the next turn. So I'm deliberately not playing my guys out that do have taunt here. So I can like fill my board with whelps, and even if he takes the Nixia, I still get to attack him with six whelps. Oh, 
What a surprise! Must be nice. My shield for Argus. Nice swipe. Of course, you're playing bad cards like Rifleman. Why wouldn't you be? He's got an answer for everything right now. Come on, what are you thinking about? Attack! Hits me for six. What are you thinking about? Stop being bad at this game. <laughs> He's just so upset. I mean, that was such a waste of a holy nova as well. And I just didn't attack him for one there. <laughs> and he's pretty much got I know I've lost already. So I'm just trying to get the game over with quickly. Yeah, of course. Of course. Of course, how's the answer for everything? So the game completely turned on the mind control. Which sucks. Don't think there was anything I could have done about it. Butchering me, absolutely butchering me. Do you need a 
<laughs> so there's definitely plenty that can kill this 2-1, you know, that Warriors have got. They can coin out the 2-2. Two -two. They might also be playing bad cards like Whirlwind. What a shocker. So we might have just lost the game because of that. If he now gets to make guys, and my next guy is guaranteed to die. Found a, a lamb to the slaughter. I'm pretty certain he'll just make another weapon and kill it. I mean, there's so much you can do to deal with that guy at turn 4. Cochrane Elite. Spellbinder. There's just so many cards. Wow, and he goes and does that. It was uh, definitely unexpected. Maybe he has double cleave in his hand. So if he's got Arcanite Reaper, that's why I played the 5-4 out there. Against other people, I played a Berserker there, because obviously into an empty board. Putting down a Berserker is pretty ridiculous, and then backing it up with a Dark Scale Healer. So that's definitely uh, all we can do there. Just going to carry on making big guys. If I get to seven wins with this deck, I think I'll be happy. It's not really the greatest thing anyone's ever seen. 
big fan of his executes, isn't he? And he's starting to run out of big guys now. Squire, me. Down to the little guys. Ready, sir. Getting so much nice to me. It's nicer to me when my opponents don't make huge weapons. So this car's just ridiculous. Seven two is pretty irrelevant in the grand scheme of things. You know, I'm at thirty one life. What I care about is not having his minions all have charge. What now? Lens the sun well. Well, that's a waste of a charge right there. Oh. Let's just go play a nine bark onto an empty board, right? Seems pretty good. Probably got like a whirlwind or an execute in his hand now that's completely worthless. Do you need a blessing? <laughs> yeah. Or something equally bad, bad you like, it, like Young Priestess. Doesn't help you. Doesn't help you at all. Hmm. 
We must cleanse the Sunwell. Farewell. So just, I mean, this deck just has so many ugly games. You know, they're not pretty. There's nothing special about them. They're not interesting. Not even fun to play. They're just completely boring. Make my guy every turn. And you're just praying your opponent doesn't have a fast start. You know, you're just you're just gonna lose to a fast start. That's why I, I'm not a huge fan of these kind of decks. And one of the reasons why I've have shied away from Druid a lot. Because we didn't get any of the Druids of the Claw, um, which are one of my favourite cards. So this wild growth's really going to help me uh, power into some big stuff. I'm probably going to draw three cards off the nourish. As I don't really have anything expensive that makes it worthwhile. Of course he says that and immediately draws a Ironbark Protector. Don't mess with Tusker! <laughs> But even so, you know, making them isn't amazing against hunters due to the fact that they've got deadly shot. They can just randomly kill it for three mana. But our opponents had just a super slow start. And um, I feel we do quite well against slow opponents. Uh, get behind me. That was an amazing card to draw off the top of the deck there. Um, completely ruins him for mana this turn. Tons of value there. Just ridiculous amounts of value from that card. Uh, Hunter's basically screwed himself over with this guy. He was hoping he'd get to trade it off immediately. Isn't gonna happen. And now he's just dead. Oh, 
I mean, he must know I, I, I've got a druid ability, right? Justice shall be So, he just didn't do anything. He has six cards in his hand. It's not how hunters should be playing. Spent that entire game wondering what he could possibly have in his hand. I mean, I can't think at all. Malfurion. He might have had a, a buzzard or something he didn't want to play until he had some beasts to draw some cards with. Let's think about our turns here. If we coin into a wild growth or coin into a fairy dragon, obviously coining into the fairy dragon is better. Puts a guy on board, <coughs> and we can wild growth next turn and get the additional three points of damage in, rather than doing it the other way around. Because if we got if we wild growth turn one and then we that gives us three mana, and we're not really going to play a questing adventure out the next turn. But it's good news for us that he doesn't have a fiery war axe yet. My eyes are open. Feeding the ghoul's probably the correct play there, um, as it takes out a Cochran Elite if he plays it this turn. Uh, he could also play like the Arathi dude. As it is, he's drawn his Fiery War Axe finally. Yeah, we didn't get any... I don't think we got any Swamp Oozes either. That's another card that we would have liked to have had. mistake by me there. Yeah, of course I'm playing my classic adventure out of the server. That might well cost me that one. Wow. It's just taking tons and tons of pain. So all these uh, points on the video where you don't hear me talking, that's me coughing my lungs up. <laughs> Good old Arcanite Reaper, huh?
truth is my shield. Do you think that's getting silenced? It's getting silenced. Your magic shall not save you. That was definitely a correct play because he's still dead next turn. Um, so it fundamentally doesn't change anything. just put me in a position where he had to deal with two of my cards that turn. So, you yeah, I'm happy with seven wins. I mean, this deck is awful. I think we can all agree this deck's pretty bad. And, um... You know, my two opponents who actually had proper decks, who'd got sort of a lot of luck here with their picks, uh, crushed me. Something savagely. So we're going to keep the claw, definitely keep the swipe going second. Well met. Because he's playing Paladin and there's tons of stuff to swipe. My greetings. There's an argument for saying let him have his 3-2 because, you know, just play just play a guy out ourselves because he can't Don't buff his guy up. But he could make could have made an argument protector there. Works for me. Reporting for duty. We just get to swipe everything away here. You know, he should be putting pressure on me, and he's just let me back into the game by doing that. Let me think. Speak to 
seems like a really bad way. <laughs> seems like a really, really bad play. I don't have enough mana. Oops, can't do that. Can do this though. Justice shall prevail. So don't let him start the turn with a minion in play in case he's got Blessing of Kings, Blessing of Might to kill my guy. Or, you know, plays like a um, Protector out gives his guy a shield. But even though if he gives it a shield, I'm not dealing damage to it so he won't draw a card. Um, pretty sure I'm just playing a dark scale healer here. Like we're pinging it for one to get rid of the shield. I played a little bit high out. Just do it this way. Much better. You love my new recipe. Justice shall prevail. Oh! I wait for no one. So this is always the objective to kill all of his guys. Reporting for duty. Seems okay to swipe here. So if he's got a Consecration, he'll definitely play it at this point. The gates are open. And if he doesn't, we get to play Stormwind Champion and uh, beat all these guys up. Behold the might of Stormwind! Which seems... Absolutely fine to me. And now he's running out of ideas. Which is why he's resorted to a 2-7. Not on my watch. My seal for Argus. He's really hoping I don't have a silence, isn't he? So I could have used the healer to heal my guy back up, but it doesn't change anything. Like if you still got a blessing of kings, a blessing of might, he can still kill it next turn. Your magic shall not save you. No! He's finally realised uh, Swampoos does nothing against me. 
So now we just get to wreck his board completely, which is awesome. Farewell. This one is over. Reporting for duty. For My thanks. So the terrible deck gets to eight wins somehow. Wow. I hope I never have to draft anything like this ever again. <laughs> let me just uh, let me just check this here. Two swipes. There we go. Not three. So I don't feel so bad about not having drawn one in the top half of my deck now. Of course, when you get to nine wins, I believe your deck list vanishes from the screen. So, have to check now. Oh, it's just been... A, I've just been feeling so rotten today, uh, and all of this week, with this horrible cough. Just put me in a lousy mood for some of these videos. I must protect the wild. So I'm chucking the spellbreaker back because I'd rather have something like a swipe for turn four. Do you need a blessing? I mean, I really don't care if I win or lose this game. Back to work. Of course. Of course. I had so much planned out, and now don't get to do any of it. You're getting silenced. Your magic shall not see me. Awesome. It's a great result for us. So as long as there's not a Shattered Sun Cleric this turn, or a Defender of Argus, we're fine. Obviously if he has another one of those 2-2s, two that would be sad times for me. Truth is my shield. 
Always has the answers. The gates are open. Just as south as Must be nice. Pretty much the perfect hand. So, getting back into this game with uh, our army of taunts against his ridiculous deck. <laughs> My god, it just never ends with this guy, does it? Just never actually ends. Lens the sun well. You love my new recipe. <laughs> Job's done. So ridiculous, so ridiculous. He's obviously got another weapon while he's doing that, but I mean there's nothing we can do. And he wins, obviously. Yep, I knew that was going to happen. I can see. <laughs> Losing helps us, obviously. We get a better record than eight and three. No, more gold and stuff, should I say. But I hope I never have to see a deck like this ever again. That's okay, isn't it? 160, 210, 250 gold. And a pack. So, sorry about this illness I've had all week. Been ruining some of these videos, but there's not much I can do about it. <laughs> An angry chicken! Oh, I'm just the worst at opening packs. Uh, the absolute worst. Yeah, that's my second angry chicken as well. To go with such other wonderful cards as Hungry Crab and Light Warden. Um. <laughs> so guys, um, I totally don't blame you if you don't click like on this video. I didn't particularly like it either. And uh, until next time, ta-da.